Levi, Levi, say that again. I said there's a difference in possessing and possessing Christ. That's right. What's the difference? The difference is that possessing shows on how you live, how you treat people, how you conduct yourself. Possessing, you may know all the words that you want to know in the Bible, but you don't, you don't live it. Amen. Show them the way you live. Amen. Amen to that. Here we go. So we got Jerry and Debbie. Hello. And moi. And today we were at the Kenwood Town Center. Yes, we were. And I'll see, I've got about 15 people on this list that we prayed for today. And the, the best part of it was this woman said, You know that really the thing that touched my heart, she said, is somebody cared. Mm -hmm. Somebody cared. Cared, cared enough. And so that's why we're here. And so we're going to start today with the people that we pray for. And the reason we do this, beloved, is so that you know that if you make yourself available to God to pray for people, to talk to people about Jesus, you can do this too. Mm -hmm. Right? And, you know, we had signs and wonders following at the end, we had a tremendous healing, which I have a video on, and I'll show, I'll post it later. But we started off with Connor, right? And yes. it was right here in this uh, area of the uh, the mall, yes. right here. This is where we meet by Nordstrom's E Bar Cafe. Yes. And you can join us next week, next week at 12 to 2 o'clock at, at at the E Bar Cafe by Nordstrom at the top floor. And then we're just gonna stroll to the mall. And as we stroll through the mall, the Lord points out to us, right? Mm -hmm. People who are ready for uh, healing or deliverance or rescue or any kind of prayer. Doesn't, doesn't, you know, as the Holy Spirit leads. So we started off with this fellow who was sitting over here on the chair named Connor. And he had these uh, chakra beads kind of like on his arm. And we asked him about his, um, what they meant to him, and he said his spirituality is he's like on a journey. But he was very open, wasn't yes, he? Yes, he was. You want to talk about him a little bit, you two? Well, he mostly was into meditation, and the Lord says to meditate on his word. So, you know, we directed him in that way, but he said he really wasn't into Hindu and Islam but he was still searching. So we just uh, prayed that the Lord would show himself real to him and for him to meditate on God's Word. So that was And he took much. a card. And he did take a card in the church. explained about our church. And he was hopefully interested. Hopefully he'll yeah. check us out. Yeah, he was interested. So that was uh, Connor, and uh, then there was uh, the Muslim vendor down the road here. You can talk about He that. does the telephone stuff, and um, he fixes telephones, and we've been talking to him a few times. And he's extremely open. And you would think like a Muslim, oh, they won't talk to me. But yeah, see, because God knows their heart, and he, he knows who's ready. So we just engaged him every week in a little small talk about his family and how he got into the business of doing what he's doing. And we gave him a New Testament of uh, the Book of John. And he has read it, but he expressed that um, he wants to have more understanding. How about that? He also has in his uh, phone the Torah, the, five, the first five books of the Bible, and David's Psalms he likes to read, the, the Psalms of King David, and, and now he's reading the New Testament. Which, and we, we're going to bring him a full New Testament next week. Okay. This is a Muslim guy. Wow. Then we had the Jewish vendor. Her name is Aiden. And she want to talk to her about her, Debbie. Okay, Aiden, we've been talking to for quite a while. Uh, we built a rapport, a relationship, and uh, she's from Jerusalem. And also there are other vendors here from Jerusalem, Israel. And we talk on that basis, and then we pray for them, and they've allowed us to pray for them. And we talk about the loving kindness of God. And Ursula showed her a video of a healing, and she was really surprised about it and said she was starting to get into the New Testament and reading it. So we're very encouraged in progress. The Holy Spirit is working there, and we just show love and kindness. So. Yeah, so and the other, the other Jewish founder, he actually witnessed 
the healing. He was not more than a few feet away. Uh, then we prayed for an EMT a, a trainer to be training to be a fireman. Yes. And he had his little baby girl, who was absolutely Avery. Avery, she was gorgeous, little baby. Uh, she has him two days a week, and uh, he has her two days a week. And he was expressing that he also wanted to be a paramedic in the Marines. That was his future goal. But first things first. So um, he allowed us to pray over him and prayed that uh, their family would be protected and uh, he would grow in the love of Christ. So mm -hmm. he accepted all that and we thanked him for his service to our country. So then we prayed for Debbie. Who, um, a lady named Debbie, not me, Debbie. Yeah, not this Debbie. To find the right church. And we had a nice little conversation with her, and she was expressing that she's having a hard time finding the right church. So, you yeah, know, not every church is for everybody. That's right. And so she's, she's at least willing to look and, and explore and looking for the right church. And then we met John, who had cancer, pancreatic yes. cancer. That was, this was now in Starbucks, correct? Yes. And he was very, him and his wife, I forgot her name, was it Carol? Carol. They were very open, they were very open to prayer for his cancer. And we prayed against it in the mighty name of Jesus. And we're just going to believe that the Lord has touched him. And then we, we went downstairs and we decided to go downstairs by the leading of the Holy Spirit. And we met a, a, a man who was uh, holding his grandbaby. And I have a picture of it with him oh, holding this so cute. adorable grandbaby. And so we do small talk first, and that's the way you uh, break into talking to people, just small talk, common talk, like the Apostle Paul said. It's part of the training. And um, one thing led to another, and we said, we said, well, is there anything we could pray for? And he said, June, who was his wife. And so we prayed for June for her lungs and her knees. And she was the lady who said, what, Debbie? She said that more than anything, she just appreciated that someone cared enough to stop and to pray for her. Amen. So, so that's the love for, of Christ. That's right? what we're here for. That's what we're here for. Love and compassion. That's, that's what we're here for. More than anything, people need kindness and love today. And um, uh, and God said to me, the last time I was here, kindness is never wasted. So then we went down to the food court. We met the food court manager. And what was happening with her arm, Debbie? Well, she had been cleaning the window area that surrounds the upper level of the food court, and she strained her shoulder, uh, and it was really painful to her at that point. So I asked, we asked her to pray over her shoulder, and she said yes. <clears throat> and we prayed over her shoulder, and she said all the pain went, and then I felt led to pay, pray peace over her. She is a woman who is just full of anxiety all the time in that and I just felt the need to put my hand on her head like this and pray for peace upon her and all the way through her body for peace starting with her mind and her head and all the way down and she said she felt so relaxed afterwards and just so peaceful from the prayer. So sometimes it's not always about an outer healing, it's an inner healing. And uh, the Lord answered. Amen. So then we got to, uh, we met a, we passed a man who uh, was in a wheelchair. Yes. And he said he had spina bifida. Born with it. And, and so we asked him if we could pray for him. And he said yes. He wanted us to pray for him. And a lot of people say yes. You're going to be surprised. How many people say yes? You just have to what? Make yourself available. Make yourself available. And when you come to the mall and you pray for 14 people in one day, my question to you is, have you made yourself available? Uh, the Holy Spirit wants to use you, believer. And uh, when you come to the mall with us, you'll find out that he's more than willing to, to use you. So then we prayed for a vendor for uh, is it, okay, property, uh, prosperity. Yes. Prosperity and good health. And uh, Debbie's kind of broke into this lady with a little bit of... Uh... Yes, yeah, small talk. Mm -hmm. I've been talking to her for months and months and gained her trust. And uh, she actually smiles when she sees us now. 
and uh, she will rarely let us even pray. But this time she welcomed it and allowed us to pray with her. And I think she's seeing that we only have her good interests at heart and that our Lord Jesus allows us to have compassion and love on everybody. Mm -hmm. So that was a breakthrough. Amen. Thank you. And uh, I know Jerry's not saying much, but it's been really yes. a very good thing to have a man on the team. Yes. I appreciate so much his faithfulness and his zeal for the Lord and his, his loving the lost yes. and wanting to show compassion yes. to be able. Sometimes it's it's really good to have another, um, just a man on the team because mm -hmm. some men will be just much more comfortable with a man praying for them than a woman. So thank yes. you, Jerry, for, for being here. Thank the Lord for the opportunity. Amen. Yes. So then we had three Korean sisters who were sitting together, and we just encouraged the one that went to the Korean church in, in Blue Ash to take, take your little friend there to the church. And the last, we're ready to leave now, right? Oh, yes. And the God always does what? The he best, saves the best, best for the last. last. Always. Amen. It always happens And that when way. we say that, let me just say they were all the best. Yes. They're all the best. Any 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 opportunity you have to pray for people, it's 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 God's doing and wonders to behold and to him be the glory. But we just love healings. You know, we just yes. love when he does the miraculous. And you'll see the video. I'll, yes. I'll post the video uh, right after this little video testimony. But we were going on our way and we saw a lady with a, a big huge cast. And I'm not gonna say much because you'll see the video. But she had a level 20 pain. Uh, she had injured her, her leg, and uh, it went from a t and she had tremendous faith. Yes, yeah, she did. Uh, I mean, I just knew this was a given. And she just said, I said, today's your day. She said, yes, because I find favor. <laughs> she said, I'm highly favored. Highly favored. And she said uh, that it's no coincidence. No. That we were meant to meet her today. Yeah. I mean, she said that before we could say anything. Yeah. So I was very impressed with her. She was so excited to have people pray for her yeah. leg. And uh, for her knee. This had been like two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks since she had had this injury. And she, like Debbie said, she goes, oh, you were not here by accident. And she was just like ready. Waiting and ready. You know, and her faith Divine was Divine appointment. Her mountaintop faith was incredible. Now, you don't have to have mountaintop faith. You have to have the this, this size of the seed of a mustard seed faith. And uh, sometimes you don't have any faith. And the Lord just heals people. But this was interesting that she had this kind of faith. And her name was, I think, uh, Carlene, was it? Carlene. And you'll see the video. So now we're going to go on and on. But you'll see it removed the cast. Said it went from a 20 to a 2 and then a 0. Yes. So we just want to encourage you all to come to the mall with us because he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly above anything we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Yes. God bless you all and we love you. Join us at the mall next week, 12 to 2 o'clock in front of the Nordstrom E-Bar on the second floor, and we hope you come. You'll be excited, right. you'll you'll see that God is, you, all you have to do is watch if that's what you want to do, that's fine. And, right. he'll, and you'll see and learn something. God bless you all, bye-bye. Bye. You got it, aim yes. right at the leg. Thank yes. you, Carlene. Yes. Your day, Carlene? Yes, it is. You excited? I'm highly favored, I am. You're highly favored, and, and she got what, a sprain? Yeah, it's a sprain twist, we don't know exactly, but... And how long has it been? Two weeks. Two yes. weeks, and what's the pain level between zero and ten? A twenty. Right now? Oh, yeah. Right now, it's like, I don't take my pain, so I'm not going to All right. <laughs> Let's do this. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord, right now. Every tendon, ligament, muscle be healed now. Pain go now. Now, in Jesus' name, be healed. Okay. Thank you. I accept it. Well, I want you to try it out. How's the pain? Pain? Yep. It's still, I mean, with this song, Be honest. Like, I don't, no, seriously, I don't feel no pain. You don't feel no pain? Yeah. Did you have pain before I prayed? She did. Yes, I did. Oh, wait a second. You show her face saying that. Okay. I did not have any pain yeah. when she touched my knee. Yeah. But I did have pain before. Oh, and she said so it was God a... God is a healer. No, absolutely. He's the healer of everything. Yes. Testimony time. That you said it was a twenty. Uh, yeah, it was at a twenty. It was a twenty when we prayed before we prayed. Yes. And now it's a zero. Is that? Is that? I say like a two. Oh, let's get let's get rid of this. Debbie's knocking yeah. out of this.
pain go now, all of you, in the name of Jesus. Ooh. More, Lord, more, Lord. Thank you, Lord. More, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Cartilage go back together. Any damage be restored and new. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You want to take that thing off and try it? Oh, yeah, I can take it off. She wants to try it. She's testing. You want to help her? Yeah, she got it. Yeah, good. She's out there. She's letting her lean on her. Boy, that's a contraption, ain't it? Yeah, that's one of these high tech ones. Huh? What an annoying thing. You can see I already had multiple of them. Oh my! Oh, bless your All heart. Okay, take now. take a little walk and let me know how it feels. If it if it's just twenty or a two or what? How does it feel, girl? Feels good. Is it still a twenty? No, um, is I don't it? A, feel anything. You don't feel any. You don't feel anything. No. Zero. 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 Glory to God! Hallelujah! Je Jesus heals in the mall. Jesus heals in the mall. Take another little walk. Let me see you move. Woohoo! Glory! Where, where's that thing? Held it up. We don't need it no more. No, I don't. I'm going to walk out of here without somebody. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don't let your faith be weak about that. I'm not. But if I believe. That, if you still need to go back to your doctor, if he wants to see him, let him see him and witness to him. No, because when they see my MRI, they're going to say nothing. That's right. All okay. right. So All right. So this is Carlene. Carlene. And Jesus healed Carlene today. Yes, yes. he did. It went from a, a 20 to a zero. Woohoo! And these guys witnessed it. What do you What do you think of that? Thank you. Jesus. What do you think of that? Jesus is Jesus is still alive. If it tries to come back, you say, "No, Lord, you took care of it." Right. He's not the thief. He is not. The thief comes to rob and kill and destroy, but I've come to give you life and more abundantly. Amen. I appreciate it. Amen.